so Linda has brought um, some slides to show the paintings for the bestiary. And um, um, so let's take a look at them, shall we? Um, you're going to take it along? Is okay. it ready to turn on these lights? lights? Mm -hmm. So there's less glare. So what we did is we started with um, two painters who um, inspire me, um, unexplained relationships. Um, a friend of mine said that he felt that the reason Picasso was just so successful was because his images went directly into your subconscious. He didn't stop. He just, and I find Picasso very much that way. Uh, so, and there's another one of his. And then I think we have four images of an artist. His name um, was Jeffrey Catherine Jones. And he was a, um, he started out as a comic book illustrator. Very, very, very fine draftsman. And I, I love his images. Always animals with people. Oh. And isn't that beautiful? And I love his palette. His palette is very tonal. And my palette tends to be tonal. Um, and then that one. Beautiful painter. And then these next, the next images are, this, these are older paintings of mine that, um, like this image, we decided it just came out of my subconscious. I, I don't have any idea why I did that. Um, and this one was a more, more sort of playful time. This was called the gift. And the, the animal in this one is just sort of a make-believe animal. It's not a real animal. But I like the magic and the floating and the, just the play. Pardon me? Oil. They're all oil. It looks so large. It does. Looks what? It looks so much like a watercolor. It does. Does it? No, it's oil. And then... Sure, she is surreal in that. Don't you? Yeah. Surreal is often playful and fun. And then this one, I think we were going to do a series of... Goddesses. Goddesses, that's right. And I, I don't think I ever got past this one. Love that bunny. The bunny. Isn't that a great bunny? That's uh -huh. a great bunny. The, the, the shadow of that bunny is in one of your beastie areas. Oh, really? Yeah. And then this one, this one, again, I have no idea, except that um, I have no idea. And also, I, I seem to have a thing for pears, because she's holding a pear. And we do have a sculpture of a, a little sheep that we call Bob, so that's anyway very surreal this was it's sort of another phase called the seven deer and this was this and the next one also have a slightly more surreal element this is called figured with ponies and this one we actually made into a tapestry and it hangs above our bed so And the next one, um, I love the sense of mystery. <laughs> thank that, you. That, that is within me as I look at you. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, just thank you. Yeah. And the <laughs> next one, okay. This um, this goes back more to the uh, Jeffrey Catherine Jones in the in the the trust and the equality and the beauty between the, you know, the fully dressed woman and these kind of wild animals. Yeah, there's a peaceable kingdom feeling. Yeah. What, what about the costume? The costume is interesting that you say that because I always kind of want what I put them in. You know, I mean, I'd love that dress. Yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> And the, the landscape is a flow of the 
truths from the, the mystery with the Oh, that's the fun to do. I love doing landscapes and like that. Uh, one of my favorite painters says a lot of landscapes, um, Thomas Dewey. Do you know Thomas Dewey's work? He's a tonalist. A lot of his landscapes look kind of like that. And these next three are more, um, the relationships are more developed and it's a little more traditional in style and concept. This is called Her Person. And this one is called The Accomplice. And that, that dog is my dog. Yeah. Amazing. Is that a solution? Pardon me? It bores away. Bores away. How do you spell that? B O R Z O I. Yeah. 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 It's, it's a Russian. They're a Yeah, it's a Sainon. Titan. Titan. They're Russian, yes. Yeah. And notice the horses in it has the painting. <laughs> so she often has paintings in her domestic scenes so mm. where she brings the animal. And then more dogs, more boar's voice. And the <laughs> yeah. she is regal. Yes. yes. She's an aristocrat. She knows oh, it. Man. Oh, man. And then this one, we just said it's the spirit of the animal. And that hangs above my son and his wife's bed. It's called the garden. How big? How big is that? It's not that big. It's about like that and like that. Mm -hmm. Is that on canvas or board? Pardon me? Is that on, well, on canvas or board? I think it's on canvas. And what I really liked about this one is the branches. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the color scheme. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The lighting. I think you should mention the title. Guardian. Yeah. Guardian. No, right. Guardian, yes. And the next one is, uh, we did two photographs just to show you how you start with a, an idea and how it can change. So this next painting is the start of one of the paintings for the bestiary. It's, it's bestiary. Bestiary, is that yeah. how you say it? Bestiary. bestiary. For the bestiary, and then that's what it became. Switch, switch back, yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Could you talk, incorporate a little bit about your process? Do you, do you start with a, with a picture or a, a painting in mind, a, a drawing or a, a live model, usually? Definitely. Talk a little bit about how, what the creative process is. You've got some slides of this one. Yeah. Right. I do start with um, I mean, all those figures came from um, drawings from life. And um, the, the dragon, I did a careful drawing of a dragon um, and thought I would put all this together, but when I did, it just didn't seem to work. I just didn't like it. But it, but it, but I had. It's a very careful approach to not liking it, you know. <laughs> yeah. So I, 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 I pick the drawings. I figure out the size I want them on the canvas, and then I transfer them to the canvas, and then paint from the drawings. But it was just a little too much frontal nudity in this, and just didn't feel right. Um, and so I took the figure the seated woman, and she, I just made her that much bigger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and I got the, um, down at the carousel, there's a, there's a model of this dragon, and so he was my model, mm -hmm. yeah. What are the little suspended pears? Pears. Pears, I, I don't know, oh. I have a thing about pears. A lot of artists this. Really? Such a it's a beautiful shape. Mm -hmm. And I love th that it's hanging from who knows what. Mm -hmm. And so this next painting is also for the bestiary. Bestiary. So that's the way it started. And I was pretty well along. And that's the way it ended. 
And this was fun because, and this also felt more surreal in that there was, you know, there's two things going on. There's the bunny and the ball on the outside, and then there's this uh, sort of a portal to, to her. Hmm. The shadow of the bunny. So John and I were figuring, is she a bunny? You know, is she, who knows, right? Oh, her awesome. drapery is so beautiful. Yeah, we all want her dress too. Oh, yeah. This is how you get to practice fashion. Design. Right, right, right. <laughs> so when you transform a painting, is it on the same canvas and you're just reworking the So when all of those other characters... They got scraped away and painted over. Huh. Yeah. Is that a hard day for you? Mm-hmm. When, when that happens? You no, know, it's actually a relief. If it's not working, you know, it's a relief. And so this is the draw, the initial drawing for that painting. It was only about that big. And so it's either the front leg, that's what didn't work. Um, this is a, a drawing of the fox that I took from a photograph because um, I like to get, even if you're working from a photograph, to have a drawing of the photograph. And then, and then this was like one of the first days. And this is, this is our studio. So it's sort of the setup where I have the roses. Cause I'm, see, there's her arm that I didn't feel like was working. And then that's the final painting. Wow. I love seeing the process. Yeah. Thank you. I also think that the, the flowers, not, whether they fixed a problem or not, they increase the, the symbology. Mm -hmm. You're right. And, and so it adds to that mystery that you've got in space in your work anyway. Well, that's so. the funny part because it's not something, that's what I was saying earlier, that I plan. It just sort of mm -hmm. all kind of comes together in some sort of a mysterious way. Mm -hmm.